Hey everybody, today I want to show off my uh, my little hydroponic uh, deep water culture system that actually, I, uh, I just built this thing. Let me show you how much air is pumping out. And right now the cloud just came over. And now the cloud is kind of going away. And the cloud's coming back. I'll let you listen for a minute. So what happened was that obviously the cloud covered up the panel and now I'm covering it up with the camera and now you can see we're back in business and to show you guys that we can actually do a quick change here with the water I'm going to try to hold my camera steady and lift up bucket now you can see you have a bucket this is just plain water but you have a bucket that could have nutrient solution and you could swap it out with another bucket that was ready to go now the air has stopped because it is in the shade completely going to pick it up again, put it back in there, and it finds its level, and I can move this back this way, and this, we need to, let's say we didn't want to take out the bucket, we just wanted to check our nutrient solution and put a little drop into a uh, test tube so we can check our pH or our parts per million, whatever we want to check. We could simply drop a little bit of the solution this way. We can also use this when we fill up the main bucket by squeezing it and making sure that it's picking up water, but making sure that the water level is at least a couple of inches below the actual net pot. That is one more cool thing I want to show you about this system here. And that is that we're using a round disc air stone at the bottom. But let me show you how I put this thing together and then if you guys want me to actually do a video on how to build one of these things, um, it's actually not that difficult. Let me just pull this out. Notice that we have holes on the bottom. We have our air stone attached also with a bolt on the bottom, a wing nut. And that keeps it in place so it's not moving around all over the place. So this is a really, really neat little system. I had not seen anything like this before and I figured you know what let me go ahead and let me share this with everybody so that if you guys want to give it a shot you can build your own now remember we're using it outdoors so this would be great for our compost tea so if you want to make compost tea this is a great way to aerate and make some compost tea Anyway, just a quick video here. You can see now we're in shadow, so we have absolutely no power. Now, you could probably set up, if you want to go crazy, a little tiny battery backup supply uh, that would turn on, but I'm not going that far. I'll leave that up to you uh, more electrical uh, engineering wizards out there. And you can see it actually could come in pretty handy because right now we're back in the, sh in the shade. But, you know, if you lose your, your light and you have no air, and then it comes back and it comes off and it comes back, Actually, for hydroponics, that's not so terrible. Now, there is the, the other method out there that is, uh, it's kind of like a deep water culture, but it uses no air. And it starts with a K. I think it's called the Craty, K-R-A-T-Y, the Craty method. And they just use buckets with absolutely 
no aeration whatsoever and it works well with uh, leafy greens but if you want to grow uh, you know tomatoes and things like that I think the Kratty method will will work but probably better to have lots of aeration and if you have it on a, out on a cycle where it's on and off on and off on and off it should be okay anyway just a little idea now of course you don't have to use a solar panel you can use a regular air pump and if you choose to do that then you'll have a constant supply however if you lose power at home for some reason you're back to square one but you know obviously the electrical power in your home is a lot more reliable consistently than the sun the sun's going to shift it's going to move it's going to get clouds and you're going to have the evening so um there's a thought wanted to share that with you guys and uh, if you have any ideas any comments any suggestions um you know please let us know really appreciate you coming by hope you like the system thank you everybody talk to you soon